We're at Steak of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The only place where you can eat barbecue while watching players get barbecued. I can't stop thinking about barbecue. Is it obvious? Barbecue. Mm-mm, good. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Mile High Chronic take on the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and can litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. One speed, engage. What are you trying to press your neck? He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Third down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, what a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porta John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Third down and, well, good luck. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Dad, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine?
defense seems to think the defense had too much time on their hands, so they took some of it back with a time warp dirty trick. That last play was completely erased from time. Uh, you know, I, I use that kind of power to, like, unnoop the world. But, uh, sure, getting rid of a play works, too. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive hands some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I almost wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. Second down, and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah, you're we get how much Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, Third down and forever. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self -dying. But it seems to have worked through it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. He'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. It's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. It's a touchdown! Ah, oh, this just breaks my heart, man. First drop off to place humans on assembly lines, in cars, and, and soldiers, and now with dancers. What's the wild comment to Grim? I ask you honestly. What is the world coming to? The same radioactive wasteland it's been for a while, Brick. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And 
it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, uh, my bad. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. hot. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Hot, hot one, hot two. Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Third down and five. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. That's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And one saver there. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, well, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Third down and eight. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> it's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. He is automatic. Nice kick. 
Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. And Chainsaw's really in the Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And he plays a defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. into a slaughterhouse! And it's first and ten. That 
It's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Caught for a first down. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and six. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Perfect pass and the score! Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Nice hit. And it's first and ten. say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, man? A carnival? Huh? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go I'm going to a strip tease show. Where we going? <laughs> hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the cute and that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway, exit five. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Three. And 
he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And let the work be dirty. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> first down and forever. He's got a good chiropractor. Second down in a very lot. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. That move, baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Pull him out about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Third down and long. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt a fake punt. If you can't trust a punter, who can you trust? The defense saw that play coming a mile away and snuffed it out on fourth down. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. First and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shit carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel and got blown across the room into the theater antlers. Second down and 
seven. Hot, hot one. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. for the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he pulled out a chain so now he's placing him down. <laughs> point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. A good run for five yards. Hey. Didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. They run it for a yard. Third and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. For a second there. Second down and ten. And he was 
running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice cap. And what they say, Grim? Step on a crack, break your mother's back. Step on a mine. Yeah, I don't know either, but scratch another player from the roster because he stepped on a mine and exploded his spine. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down in a very lot. Hot one. Hot. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. You know, you gotta put the buzzsaw in the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. Second down and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. Four. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Only two minutes left in the game. Second down and a lot. Oh, my gosh! The defense to play a little... And he made a mistake there, throwing into tight cover. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's hit the 40. He's hit the 30. He's at the 20. Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He was 
starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffet. Now, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pitchkin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! Hot one. And he breaks through for a touchdown! Listen to this crowd! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. The offense is running low on blockers. They have only two left. If they lose another, it's game over. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Nicely done for a first down. And it's and the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Put on a display there. Touchdown! They want more points, so they're going for two. That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. Oh, this is just horrible to watch. It looks like he's malfunctioning. Someone help him. He's just dancing, Bricks. Still probably better than I could. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Kicking team. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. Second down and six. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? That's constant, relentless advance. If only it was as easy as telling them. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, Grim. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. The Carolina Panzers suffer a big loss today. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any old butts involved. I kind of like our butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not heavy until you're not.